this, this week, week on Eerie Extreme. If you want confusion and chaos, you are definitely in the right place. Oh, God. Heard anything about pontooming wildlife? Can you take me tomorrow night? Yeah. Look, Terry calls and says, I'm here. No, you're not here because we're outside. How much? What do you mean? Hey, what color is Richter's sign? Hopefully the fishing is easier than this. These are the days I know, I know. These are the days I know. Wait, I, I have you on channel one. That's him. Channel one. I hear you on that. That's impossible. Eerie Extreme is made possible with the help of these fine local businesses. Fast Signs. Marquette Savings Bank. Sunburst Electronics. Country Fair. Sitco. We Create. Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Zodiac Diner. Presque Isle Angler Bait and Tackle. The Avonia Tavern. And World of Music. I'm Dave LaFibra, and I'm getting out of my comfort zone. Exploring extreme places and culture, discovering extreme people, while encountering extreme weather. Where do I plan to do all this? Well, in my own backyard, of course. This is not your typical fishing show. It's unscripted, outside the box, and 100% real. This is Eerie Extreme. I'm getting too old for this. Heard anything about Pomatuming Wallace? I came home from Alabama for three days for one reason. That's to catch walleyes at night, something I've never, ever done before. What's the name of that taco shop down there at Pomatuming in Jamestown? Richter's, that's right. Okay, so we start our little journey here on Google. I had an idea where I wanted to go, but after that, I was clueless. There we got a phone number. Just, I just had a question. Do you know if the if there's any walleye activity going on down there? I was thinking about driving up tomorrow. No, they have been. Nice they have been? Yeah. Catching them at night? Night and day. Night and day. That sounds good. That's the whole day, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? His name's Jimmy, a good friend of mine. Are the walleyes biting? With that little laugh, um, you know, Jimmy made it sound pretty easy. Can you take me tomorrow night? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. So we're uh, putting away the bass boat. Yeah. Woodrow. Hey, what's up, big dude? Almost there. This is uh, my buddy Woody's fishing camp. We all kind of come down here and we can use it want to. Pymatuming is truly world class. It's on the Ohio-Pennsylvania border, it's a big lake, and it's less than an hour south of here. Looks like Jimmy's already here. You know, it's Woody's camp, we call it the Muskie Lounge. Um, a lot of cool memories there. Jimmy! Hey, what's up, man? Where you been hiding? I can tell you, when I got there, I didn't waste any time getting my tackle into the boat. This is the part where the truth comes out. Last few days it's been a little slow. How long you been here? Three weeks. <laughs> Holy cow. I mean, did you catch, did you fish today? Yeah, did I did. Did you catch any? I, I never had a bite today. Oh man, that's encouraging. Yeah. That was definitely not what I was expecting mm -hmm. to hear. But Maybe with the storm coming, I don't know. Might be okay, we'll see. Jimmy is the greatest. If there's something that's broke or not working, he's gonna fix it. What are you doing? Look, look who did this. They taped You mean me? Did you do that? Mm -hmm. I ripped it off on an ice deer. He is my Jimmy. My Jimmy. Nobody can have my Jimmy because he is my Jimmy. All right. Yeah, bye. So I have a camera guy coming and another guy to help run the other boat. But of course, one's lost. What, what are you doing? You turn the, is that thing on? Not on. And the other one's running late. Good. 
Honestly, you know, that gave me and Jimmy some time to get caught up, get some baits rigged up, and it's something that we really enjoy doing yeah, anyway. Crow. No. Did you throw one of these yet? No. No. You like those ones or no? What? You like those ones or these yeah. ones? My mom can beat your mom up. This one or the, or the, the blue one? They're going after the freaking rock. Oh, really? At least I, I thought this was something that me and Jimmy enjoyed. Maybe maybe I just enjoy it and and he's annoyed by it. I don't think it matters. What about this really dark looking one? These look really good in the water. It is way too hot up here. You think it's hot? This what you want on? Mm-hmm. Well, hook yourself. You're getting smarter. Did you ever hook yourself in the lip? Yes, I did. <laughs> Right here. Did you have to go to the hospital? Yes, I did. I'll never go to the hospital again because they tried to kill you. They stuck that Novocaine needle in there. That doctor said, "Don't you kick me." So, so you knew it was gonna hurt like crazy. Yeah, when she said that, it did. It burnt like fire. I'll ice it down from now on and push it through myself. I've caught a oh, thousand yeah. bass on this one right here. Really? I bet you. It's getting out here. <laughs> That's what I just said. Welcome to the Avonia Tavern. Awesome rib. As a small business owner, I have a lot on my plate. That's why I work with Fast Signs for all my marketing needs. The crew at Fast Signs takes extra measures to make sure my signs are a perfect fit. Every project is custom tailored for my business. I never dreamed that there were this many ways that Fast Signs can help my business. They really are more than fast, more than science. You know, we're sitting here at uh, Prescott Bait and Tackle drinking some coffee. We don't count them. We scoop them out for a family-owned business. Oh yeah, we sell fishing license. Minnows, maggots, waxworms, mealworms, leeches, night crawlers. Just everything you'd need for pan fishing and walleye fishing. My name is Laura Daniels from Presque Isle Angler Bait and Tackle, and you are watching Erie Extreme. Terry calls and says, I'm here. So the GPS address I get from Dave brings me to this address. So I pull up in front of this house, and I said, I'm here. Really? Where? No, you're not here, because we're outside. Uh, West, Bay. West Bay Boat Sales, which way is that? So, Dave thinks I'm lost. I'm not lost. I know exactly where I am. Hey, what color is Richter's sign? Does, does, does his sign say sporting and hunting supplies? Yeah, you must have passed that. Hey, Jimmy. He, he's turning around at Jimtown Distributors. Yeah, you got to turn around. Hopefully the fishing is easier than this. So I turn around and I start driving. And driving. And I'm going to make the next right. And driving. No, I did not say that. I said just keep driving until you see a crossroads. But I'm on West Lake Road. You shouldn't be on West Lake Road. You should be on 322. Oh, God. No, you didn't. Is it? Is it me? It's him, right? See me? I got an orange-colored shirt on. Well, I made it, and I'm not colorblind. There's Danny. You on the road yet? Dang. Cue the music. Okay, so you're still out over an hour away. I gotta get some crap together and I'll be this turn. Right here. 
Oke. Okay. At this point, I don't even know if we'll ever get on the water. But you know what? At least me and Jimmy are styling. I can't put my finger on it, but for some reason, my feet hurt. <laughs> See, now, that's not something I plan on doing, really. It's uh, just something that happens usually because my sandals are laying by the door. And I just usually like go out to the garage to get something. And then I end up wearing them like that all day and then people make fun of me. So we got our clueless cameraman, but we're still waiting on Danny. So we decided to jump in the Quigley and head on over to Richter's. Yeah, I mean, I'm serious. I, if I just catch one wall, that's all I care about. This is Richter's. We're finally at uh, Richter's bait and tackle shop. And I finally get to start filming. Congratulations, Dave. Thank you. I was rooting you on. I seen in the Erie paper, I he come in, I said, buddy, he's like in second place. I mean, first place. And he says, nah, he's in bad place now. The guy's catching big ones. Eh. Through this whole process, all Jimmy is doing is taking ice cream sandwiches out of the freezer, handing them to Dave, and then handing Dave Richter money. So all we want to know is what's happening. What's happening? Between Jimmy and Dave, they probably ate like eight ice cream sandwiches. Never caught a walleye here in the spring. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're lying. No, I'm not. Not you. It's because you don't fish here in the spring. Got it. You must be, you're, you're too busy. So what's the deal? What's going on? Drifting during the day, live bait, night crawlers and minnows. They're biting a little bit? Yeah, they're doing well. I, How so come he didn't catch any today? I would think tonight bait fish will come into them weeds. They're done spawning? Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to go give her heck. Any I'm last minute it. suggestions since you don't know what he's doing? Towards the evening, I think them bait fish start to move around a little more and you'll have better luck in the evening than, you, than he had during the day, apparently. Cool. Yeah. We're going. Nice seeing you, Dave. Nice seeing you. Thank you. Congratulations. Yep. You know, I kind of like that guy. Richter has everything and he knows everything. I'm glad we had time to stop in. These are the Daves I know, I know. <laughs> These are the Daves I know. These are the oh, Daves you know. Oh, what's the matter? I don't think I'm going to shoot it. <laughs> oh, he's going to be the first one ever thrown out of Richter's. Oh, he got me right in the five flex. Yeah, there, there, now he, can't, he ain't even going to make a living. He can't fish. Good luck. Okay. Let me know well, how you did. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh when we're leaving Richter's, driving back to the cabin, and Dave calls Danny. I hope they fight. You know, don't don't put any pressure on yourself. I only drove 2,600 miles. Uh -huh. What's the story? What's the story? Where are you at? On my way. Okay. How long you think? It wasn't a lie. Not a purposely, purpose lie. <laughs> well, just get here when you can. We're gonna, have, you're gonna have to call us when you get here, and we'll figure out where we're at. We're gonna launch the boat. We're dying. Yeah, well, we gotta be fishing before sundown, and we only got an hour. What? It's an hour before sundown. It's 6:30. Really? Uh-uh. I'm pretty sure the sun's setting around 7.30. All right, maybe sundown was 7.30, quarter to eight, who cares? Uh, yada, 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 yada. Well, just get your butt here, drive faster. Okay, bye. Sundown might actually be eight o'clock. I don't know. <laughs> really? This is it your hometown and ours. The places you depend on, people you trust, family, friends, neighbors, our hopes and our dreams, home. This is the story we write every day, yours and ours, and it will be what we want it to be. We are here to empower people just like you, because when it's your hometown, it matters more.
Marquette Savings Bank, the hometown bank. We'll start this off on the wrong foot, shall we? Uh, do you have any idea who I am? No, sir. No, no. Um, I have no idea who you are. <laughs> Me neither. That's why I write my name on my truck. <laughs> wow. You look familiar. Okay, we're going to go talk to these ladies. Hopefully they, they're welcome. They might not be. They look pretty mean. Am I welcome here? I heard one of the ladies didn't show up today. I'm an eavesdropper. <laughs> oh, your hair looks awesome. I'm hurt by that. <laughs> How did you know? Yeah, my name is Dave. She's right. It's on my truck. Because I forget things, too. You, you guys know Jimmy? Jimmy. No. The guy that was sitting right there. He's crazy. He's worse than you guys. It's true. Yeah. Really? We love oh, crazy people. Right. That's the mayor. Oh. Yeah. And I still love community. I love being mayor here. True or false? I gotta read it, because I don't even know how this means. The Linesville Spillway is the second most popular tourist destination in Pennsylvania. I believe that's true. I can't believe it would be more famous than, say, Gettysburg. Some of it's false. True. I believe it. I'll go, I'll go true. Well, that could be. The There's a lot Spillway. of people come through this area. What's the first? Mark Twain Manor? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've lived here 40 years. I don't know. Grand Canyon? Nope. Is there a Grand Canyon in Pennsylvania? Yes. Liberty Bell. Liberty Bell. Is it Liberty Bell in Pennsylvania? It's sounding good. <laughs> True or false? John Hansen was the first president of the United States. No. No? <laughs> oh, John Hansen? No. The, uh, the, the, um, uh, what would you know. guys say? I, I don't know. Okay, true or false? One more. Well, what was it? It's true. No. What? No. Is your name on your car? <laughs> okay. True or false? Pamatuming is the lake where the geese walk on the duck's back. No. The duck. no. On the fish's back. Okay, good. They caught me on that. That was a trick one. It's Pamatuning. Oh, is it Pamatuning? Pamatuning. Oh, I said Tuming. Yeah. Huh. Sorry about that. I'm Dave, and you're watching Erie Extreme? Yep. Bye, dear. Have a great day. Thank you, you for your help. Yep. Your website is often the first impression a customer has of your business. So even though your operation runs like this, this is what they really see. What you need is an exceptional web presence that gets results. Allow the fun and creative team of We Create and Erie PA to brainstorm innovative ways to grow your business online and offline. Take it from our clients who are now getting the results they deserve. Visit WeCreate.com today to find out how you can transform your website from this to this. Check out the Erie Extreme YouTube channel where you can get a more in-depth look, view raw uncut episodes, fun segments, a loud obnoxious parrot, and more. When you subscribe, you will be eligible to win extreme prizes, plus the chance to win a trip to fish with Dave on world famous Lake Erie. And remember, like our good friend Bob the Parrot always says, save a worm for a bird. Why do I say that again? There's the south end, this is where we're at, and we're gonna be fishing probably in this area right here. We get back to camp, and Danny finally shows up. I was supposed to be there when I answered, and I was an hour away, so I ended up making it. It's about time. Hey, we're all here. Let's go fishing. OK, this is all I need, right? One box, and it's heavy. Since we started filming, I haven't caught a single fish yet. Let's go catch a fish. we go. I'm so excited. The lake where the ducks walk on the fish's backs. Whoa, what the <laughs>
The sun was already behind the trees. We got the boat in the water and everybody was pumped. It was really calm in the bay, but you know, once we rounded that point, it got rough in a hurry. That big hump. So we put the trolling motor down and just started to fish, right? I thought it was long. I know, it kicked as soon as we came around that. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, it's it's blowing good. Okay, so we're going to put the mics on. Okay. And Danny is going to be in the middle of us. All right. We're going to yeah. tie up. <laughs> the wind was blowing. There was like two footers. Where do you want to put it on to? Uh, Here, right. Cleat. Give me the hook I didn't even know I had a cleat. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he didn't know his boat had a cleat. Really? Tied around the depth finder. That'll hold it. <laughs> settled will be all right. We ain't going to get settled waves. If we put a life jacket in between. Watch your fingers. Oh, yeah, the mics are all hooked up backwards. One mic's reading off Dave's when it's supposed to be Jimmy's. It just, it was all screwed up. <laughs> um, what about the lights? What lights? No one. This might be actually be too close. I'm gonna be too close. You have to turn that mic on. I can hear you, Dave. Okay. Can you say something, Jim? Boogers. <laughs> say boogers again. Boogers. Say it one more time. Big hairy boogers. Okay, I don't hear you. You don't? No. Can we say big hairy boogers on TV? Got a on? Yep, I got you both on. He's on channel one. Okay, I got I got channel one, I got you on channel six. Right? Can you hear me? The mics were working. I have you on channel one. I mean, the wind is howling, the sun's going down. Um, we, you know, we can ruin- That's him, channel one. I hear you on that. I hear you on this. That's impossible. Mike two was on channel one. Okay, not so then you're not hearing me, you're hearing Jimmy's mic. Oh. You know, it got to the point where it was turning into pure chaos. We are a team of idiots, <laughs> a bunch of clueless morons wandering aimlessly throughout the universe. Do it again. Check. Do it again. Check. Do it again. Check. Keep talking for check, a minute. Check, check, check. I just want to go fishing. I just want to go fishing. <laughs> I just want to go fishing. Keep talking. I just want to go fishing. I'm starving. See, I don't know which way is up on this and which I way. I just want to go fishing. Oh, zero. boy. That's, I just want to go fishing. Hey, at least we're on the water, right? Is this what we get for not testing the mics before we come out here? We, they worked fine before. We tested no, both we didn't of them. test two. So we checked both mics. They were working fine. What we didn't take into consideration was running a 14-foot boat through two to three-foot waves, and something came loose. Okay, I got him. I got him. You got me too. I got everybody. Okay. And it's super loud. Where's the? Uh... <laughs> Is it super loud? It's super loud. Is it distorting? Guys go out fishing, and stuff always happens. No, but I can hear myself okay. breathe. Well, well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> You're alive, but... You just saw stuff happen. Do you want a fishing show where they just catch a lot of fish? Then go watch Jimmy Houston or Dave Mercer. If you want confusion and chaos. You are definitely in the right place. <laughs> hey, I'm Dave Mercer, host of Facts of Fishing and Bassmaster Elite Series MC. And you're watching Eerie Extreme. And if you're not, you're a fool. So make sure to watch it. Eerie Extreme. Hi, I'm John Arway, Executive Director of the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. First, if you're already a Pennsylvania angler or boater, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for your purchase of your fishing license or boat registration. Since the sale of our first fishing license in 1919, the Commission has used the funding provided by the sales of licenses to support our stewardship of the Commonwealth's fish, reptiles, and amphibians. Come on and join in the fun of fishing and boating in Pennsylvania. Hi, I'm Macy. And I'm Bella. And this is your Pennsylvania Fishing Boat Commission Safety Tip of the Week. <laughs> this week's tip is about pole safety. Never leave children unattended near water. Stay away from swimming pool drains. Wet areas become extremely slippery. Never run near pools. Keep life ring and safety hook pull aside. Make sure everyone in the home makes... Oh. He's making her laugh! Uh -huh. 
Make sure everybody in the home knows how to respond to a pool emergency. That was great. Okay. I'm the main star. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the mic? Fishing show with not one catfish being caught. That's Woody. That's where we're staying right now. He's a musky maniac. Don't look at me. Hey, should he look at me or look at the camera? I Try looking at me. Look at the camera. Well, I, I usually look, when on, we do on, these, look they... at the camera. Now look at look at Dave. Go move away from the camera. It's different. Check. The mics are. This mic is definitely not working. Yep, good job. She wins. You're only on against I don't know what to say about it. You know, I really do have a problem seeing. Boy, these are now where you have to go fish next? Toledo Bend. It's recording. Yeah, well, I would turn it off for a minute. And check in on his progress. <laughs> one's lost, and the other one's running late. That sucked. Cool. That was less violent than normal. Get gas here, walk straight across the street, Zodiac Diner. It's a ritual. Don't get run over. It's a ritual. I'm Mike, I'm the owner of the Zodiac. <laughs> they give you a lot of food. Yeah. I don't know how he stays in business. Why do you eat at the Zodiac Diner? Their food's good. You can't beat it. Attention all viewers! Do you have an extreme catch worthy of my braggy board? I'm Bob the Parrot. Submit your favorite fish photo for a chance to get posted on my braggy board. Ah! You can also win some awesome prizes. Subscribe to the Eerie Extreme YouTube channel for even more chances to win. And remember what I always say, save a worm for a bird. Why do I say that again? Ow! Ow! All right, I'm being a baby. See you okay where it's at? You can't see me, right? <laughs> nope. It's like you're not even there. No. Next week on Erie Extreme. First cast, baby. Oh my God. Did you see that? Jimmy, are we in the right spot? I don't know. I can't see. I actually cast a bait into the water. Oh. Would you calm down? Where are we putting it? Back in the lake. Come again? No, no, this no, 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 catch no, no. And release. no, buddy. It's not. You ever hear of Bessie? Bessie. Oh my God. Get him, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I got one. This is a muskie or something. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is. No, it ain't. Yeah, it is.